Deforestation is one of the world's most pressing environmental issues. It includes the cutting down, burning, and destruction of forests. Every day, the habitats of thousands of birds and animals, as well as people's lives, are harmed by deforestation. The loss of tropical rainforests is considered to be the worst ecological disaster of the 20th century. But all is not lost. Researchers have found that in some countries, tropical forest cover is increasing. According to a recent study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, Forest expansion in Central America is related to high levels of human development. Dr. Ricardo Grau, a geographer and agronomist at the National University of Tucumán in Argentina, is one of the researchers contributing to this study. Areas uh, in the world, um, forests are also expanding. Uh, this process, called uh, forest transition, has been well studied in, in Europe and in developed countries in the northern hemisphere, but more recently uh, forest expansion or, or forest transition has been observed in many tropical areas. Dr. Grau and his team of scientists studied forest cover changes of the last decade in the seven countries of Central America, from Guatemala to Panama. The countries of this region share cultural and geographic characteristics related to the environmental and climate conditions of the Caribbean, Atlantic and Pacific coasts and the Atlantic Slope is characterized by a much moister climate, which means it's the, the area where rainforests are located. The Pacific Slope has dry forests, and the high in many areas are dominated by conifer forests. The data derived from these countries illustrates a clear connection between forest loss and poverty, represented by a low human development index. In the poorer countries of Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua, there are still high rates of deforestation in the moist forest ecosystems. Deforestation hotspots were concentrated in the Caribbean and the Atlantic coasts. This study demonstrates how in the wealthier countries of Costa Rica and Panama, net deforestation has reversed to forest recovery. Dry forests along the Pacific coast and conifer forests in the highlands are now in the phases of reforestation. Forest expansion was related to high levels of GDP per capita, high urbanization rates, and even connected to tourism. The location of the forest is changing. And this has many implications for the conservation of biodiversity, but also for the conservation of the environmental services that the forests provide. The Caribbean forests that are disappearing are much more diverse, more rich in species than the new forests that are emerging in the, in the highlands or in the Pacific slope. On the other side, these forests that are expanding in the conifer and dry forest life zones are probably more important for providing other environmental services such as watershed protection and this is because they are closer to where people live. One of the most important conclusions of this study is that the socio-economic well-being of the population contributes and is necessary for the conservation and recovery of forests. This is especially true in tropical regions of the world. Yeah.